Night Live. Um, I have a special guest with me today, and we are releasing a special product, which I'll tell you guys about in a minute once more of you tune in. So for anyone watching this later on in replay, this is a live video. The whole point's for me to be able to chit chat with people, answer questions, etc., in a live setting. It is going to be a slightly longer video and there will be more talking and chit chat. If that's not your kind of video, feel free to not watch. For everybody else, please say hi in the chat box. Let me know where you're watching from and we're going to get started. So my special guest tonight, hey Susan, is G Pores. Hi. And just ignore me if I call him Gee. It <laughs> happens sometimes. Um, even even when he's not here. And then I'm like, but that is butter, and he's not butter. It's okay. Um, so I like you. I, like I do too. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. So G Pores has his own. Well, G has his own channel called G Pores. Um, you can check him out on YouTube, Facebook. He's got a website, etc. I'll post uh, the link to his social media in just a second in the chat box. Also wanted to point out the piece behind him because that's a collaboration that we did together. He did the awesome part. Um, <laughs> so I did the background and then he took a, he airbrushed the design on the top of it, which is amazing. And that piece is available if anyone's interested, but. <laughs> All right. And now we're gonna get started. So we're, we're each gonna do a project um, as, actually, I'm just gonna tune down here and then I'm gonna tell you guys about our uh, special new product. Okay. So let me, is that a fine distance? Yeah, okay. okay, good. I'm gonna zoom mm -hmm. in a little because this is a little tiny six by six. There we go. Um, and so G is going to be doing a modified Dutch pour on this using specific colors. And these colors are colors that are in a brand new kit that we are releasing together. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, it is a beginner kit and it includes a 10 by 10 inch canvas, a 6 by 6 inch canvas, two 4 by 4 coasters. Um, it includes paints, silicone oil, um, a torch, which is optional, some, cups. yeah, cups, gloves, stir sticks, sisters. gloves, straws, um, skewers, etc. And then a link to a class taught by G. So this is, we are literally just launched it minutes ago. You guys are the first ones to even hear about it. And I haven't pulled up the live video yet. <laughs> I'm like, where's the chat box? Oh yeah, I don't have it. It's okay. Yes. So, um, I'm going to post the link here and then mm. I will update the description in a minute also. But, oh, no, I got to fix that link. Anyways, so <laughs> I'm going to fix this. I'm going to post the link in a second and I'll post the link to his social media as mm. he gets started. Thank you, Marcy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, the idea is it's a starter pack, right? So it, you'll be getting pretty much everything you need to get started, um, including the canvas and the paint and everything. And essentially, you'll be getting like a little course from me that will show you how to best use this, some um, cool color combinations and some techniques that you can pull off very easily with everything that is in the box. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate one of those uh, right now. And uh, yeah. So let's take a look at the modified Dutch pour, which is, uh, we're going to take the regular Dutch pour, we're going to blow out the paint. Uh, I'm going to use a straw, not a, um, not a blow dryer. And then we're going to use a skewer to draw some shapes into it. Okay. Just okay. give this a quick shake. So now I have the link. Okay. So here is the link. Hey, Reggie. Um, nope, I don't think that's the link. Darn it. What the <laughs> heck did I do? I don't know. Uh, remove and try it again. <laughs> I 
so I still copied the wrong thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Marcy. I know. It's one of those <laughs> days. Come on, guys. It's Wednesday. Middle of the week. We're all tired. Still two more days left. There we go. Okay, that's the link. <laughs> all right. Um... Yeah, it was still the wrong one, though. <laughs> but there we go. All right, so that's the correct one. Um, there you go. So I'm really excited. We only have 20 available. And once again, you can purchase it with or without uh, the torch, just in case you already have one. But it doesn't hurt to have more than one, obviously. Yeah, torches break down eventually. You see, like, like eventually... Uh, the amount of heat going through them uh, once they break them down, or the trigger will break, or the nozzle will break, or yeah. Plus, it's really convenient if you're in the middle of a project and you go to use your torch and realize it's out of um, juice, out you of know, juice? butane, yeah. to just be able to grab another one yeah. real quick in the middle of your project. But hey, Linda. Hey, Javier. Okay, let me get the links to his social media before. Are we I are we properly in frame? Like with the with the. Uh, yeah, I can, so? I can show you. Mm -hmm. He has his, Cause I've, I've picked he it has up his several doubts times. about me. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just because I picked it up several times. Okay. Perfect. It's a six by six inch canvas. Cool. Okay. So there's so the link got... to his YouTube's. Okay. So the colors that are in the pack are um, primary yellow. <laughs> See, this is the tricky part. Yeah, there we yeah. go. So there's I guess I could yellow. have zoomed in after you started the design. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. Now, now I know where to put my hand. Okay. So there's primary <laughs> yellow, pink tulip, and electric purple. I'm going in a, in a gradient. Royal purple, which is beautiful, and turquoise, which is a turquoise. And there's obviously the big container of uh, white. Yeah. So let's go with a warm color palette for this one. So we started off with the base of white, which one of the cool things I thought is in his little class. Um, he explains exactly how much to use for your base and how to tell um, exactly yeah. how much you should pour out dependent yeah. upon the size of your surface. Which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, if you if you look around my painting, there isn't much excess dripping off it. Like this is, um, people often ask me about like the excess that's used. We scoop most of it up, but more often than not, you don't really need a lot of paint overflowing off the canvas, uh, especially with a technique like this one. Okay, let's go with a little bit of purple. Let's just put that over here. Okay. So here is also the link to um, his Facebook page. No problem, guys. And let me know if you have any questions. Um, and then on a completely disrelated note, having nothing to do with anything, um, <laughs> I just hit 500,000 um, subscribers on YouTube a few days ago. That's amazing. Yeah, so there will be a giveaway coming really soon, oh, as nice. soon as I have time to put it together. So I remembered to bring home some straws, you guys. Yeah, if you if you weren't here for that stream, <laughs> Marcy made me do one of these without a straw. It was I almost yes. died. <laughs> I, I forced him, tied his hands up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, it's much easier with a straw. You can okay. direct it better. That's cool. Yeah, five hundred and one now. Um, I think this kit will be one that will carry for a while. So if you can't purchase it today, I wouldn't worry too much. Um, right now we're just starting off with 20 because that's the supplies that I have. Um, but yeah, hopefully we, we plan to carry this kit around for a while. And let me grab the link to that kit again. And then after the live video, I'll update the description to include that link. If I was a little bit smarter, I would have done that beforehand. But oh well. <laughs> so there's the link to the kit. <laughs> I love the self-deprecating humor. <laughs> uh, yeah. I love purple. 
purple and yellow together. I know, I know they cancel each other out, but like they also, like right here, you can see they mm -hmm. can kind of like they cancel each other yeah. out, but at the same time, the contrast between them is so nice. Yeah. But yeah. And I love early, earthy tones. I mean, it's nice to have the Lisa Frank vibe, right. but it's <laughs> also nice to go a little more earthy, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Not I think this is a good stopping point for the blowout. Can I have a little piece of tissue? Oh yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Hmm. Let's think about this for a second. Okay, I want some separation here first. So this is just a back of a straw. And, um, paintbrush. or sorry, the back <laughs> of a paintbrush. Yeah. Oh, looking at the straw as I said that. Back of the paintbrush, and he's using that to draw in the negative space, essentially. Yeah. So pull yeah. in some of the white. Exactly. And then just make sure that you wipe it off after each one. Exactly. Otherwise, you'll start to blend your background yeah. and your colors, and yeah. you'll have a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like pansies, okay. agreed. Okay, so let's go in this way. Let's take the curves okay. like this. And then we want to... Mm. And then that kit comes with a class teaching this technique and uh, G will describe it more in detail in that. Plus, um, he also does the swipe technique yeah. and a tree ring. Yes, correct. Yeah. So it's pretty awesome. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet done so. Feel free to super chat, super sticker if you'd like. We appreciate having you here. Okay. So now we've got a three of them. So, okay. Hollyhock flower. I can see that. Ooh, you know what? Since there's two of us, mm -hmm. I can actually hold the bone oh, and bring it in. Up close. Close ups. Okay, camera's gonna shake for just a second, but I'll be gentle. Let's get you guys right in here up close and personal. Look at that. I'll try to hold it as steady as I can. So where's everybody tuning in from? Now's a good time. Throw it in the chat box. Say hi. We are in Los Angeles, California, for anyone who doesn't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got another Los Angeles in the house. Nice. Tennessee, Australia. John, that's not a location. <laughs> <laughs> Minnesota, don't you know? Georgia, Colorado Springs, Campbell, Ohio. Welcome, everybody. Uh, I know, right? Hold the phone. Okay, good. I'm not the only one that got that. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just like an expression like, shut the front door, oh, you know? Phone. Like, <laughs> <laughs> got two feet of snow last week. Holy shkaboodles. I don't know about anyone else, but I get super tickled by the fact that there's people watching from all over the world at the same time. <laughs> like, that really is awesome, I think. Florida in the house. Well, what's the weather like in Florida right now? Hello. Um, our special guest is G Pores. <laughs> and um, I'll announce it again but for anyone who missed it we're releasing a really cool kit and I'm pretty excited so 
as soon as I'm not trying to hold this phone steady, <laughs> I'll uh, tell you guys about that again. Oh my goodness, a tornado. How fun. Fun might not be the appropriate word, but I like earthquakes, so. We got upstate New York in the house. You have to kind of be used to the earthquakes here, right? Yes. And I'm born and raised here, so it's just like part of life. You know, we have earthquakes in Egypt. Like, it's not uncommon, but I, it, it's nowhere near the same as here. I've experienced at least three, and I've only been here like four months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, though. That's funny. Texas, Columbia. Wow. Seventies, windy and sunny. Oh, that's not too bad. Could be worse. Hey, Cindy. <laughs> Can handle earthquakes better than snow. <laughs> I hear ya. Yeah, yeah. I I feel like I want to agree with that statement. <laughs> earthquakes over snow. Is so pretty. Hey, Brandy. Also, Veronica, hopefully you're here. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, I am teaching a class in Texas next month. So um, if you haven't signed up yet, do so. There's just a few spots left and it's gonna be super fun. Yeah. Oh, also, I haven't even announced this yet, like broadly. Actually, I haven't announced it anywhere. What am I saying? Um, I have my first class in Oregon coming up. So that just went up on the website. He does have a very steady hand, agreed. Um, you're, you're, this is an illusion. <laughs> I, I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> an illusion. This is, this is, a, these are camera tricks. Okay. Okay. Are we calling it done? I think so. Maybe I want to do just one. This is very thing. pretty. Yeah, people disagree with you, and they say you do have a very steady hand, whether you like it or not. Uh, they say so, but like, if if I were trying to draw something with a pencil on like dry, you know, paper, and the wetness of the paint is hiding, like, yeah, the wobbly, believe me, you'd be able to see it. Like, I can't draw <laughs> straight line. Okay, so there you go. Um, and once again, he teaches this technique in the class. Uh, for the kit we're releasing. So there's that. Whoops. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. Also, once we have enough pieces of our like collaboration kind of pieces, we're going to do a big art sale at some point. Yeah, yeah. We really should get around to that. But still, if there's ever anything that we do that you see that you want, let us know. All right, I'm going to be doing something that has no relation to our course whatsoever. <laughs> That's okay. Do you want me to mend the chat? Sure. Um, I am going to post the link to the kit again one more time in a second. I'm guessing Veronica might not be here right now. Uh, yeah, you also had the chat on the top, not live. Oh, well, it's live over here, <laughs> so. All right. I'm going to set this up and then I'll adjust as needed. Let's see if that's. I am zoomed in right now. So I might zoom yeah, back out a little. Yeah, have to zoom in. Is it like a pinch on your phone? Mm, it's very difficult on YouTube. I'm not gonna lie. It'll go like zoom, zoom. 
<laughs> it might actually be easier to just do this and move it back a little. Um, okay, so the Texas class is in Seguin, Texas, which for those who don't know, because it is a middle of nowhere town, it's beautiful though, um, it is in between San Antonio and Austin. So I always fly into the Austin airport uh, when I'm going there. And then, well, almost, so close. What happened? Were you looking for the... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Tall people problems, I don't have them. <laughs> Short person studio, there's so many things bump my head on. <laughs> yeah, I hate kids bumping his head. And then um, the, the class in Oregon will be near Medford. Uh, I think it's Merlin. Merlin, Oregon. Hi, Donna. Hi. What is it? Supergirl. I'm from Egypt. Who else? Are there any other questions? Let's see. Okay. Well, before I forget, let me just post the link. So I'll post the link to the kit one more time. I'll probably <laughs> post it one more time at the end as well. But there you go. Okay, now it's over to you. All right. So I'm going to do a hair dryer pour with some gorgeous colors. And I'm going to do it my style, which is very different. Um, I don't start off with like a wet base. <laughs> So I'm going to start off with white, and I like to go in kind of a crisscross fashion. And there's a lot of different ways that you can do that. This, this is just my favorite. And the colors that I'm using, I'm going to use some canary yellow, which is one of my new colors. It's a nice light yellow. And this color, for whatever reason, whatever's in the base materials for this specific paint color, and I've got to ask the manufacturer about it, but it tends to create some cells. Mm. On that happens to me too. Yeah, that, that specific good. one. And then some others, obviously. But that specific one I've noticed. And this is Cause Earth Shimmer. It's a really pretty earthy kind of um, reddish brown. And it's metallic. Yes, Reggie, you should definitely follow him. Um, so just G pours, G E E, and then pours like P O U R S. And once again, I'll post the links in the description after the live is over. All right, then I'm going to use some peachy coral. This is a color I almost never use, and not for any particular reason other than for some reason I forget about it. But it, then every time I use it, I'm like, I should use that color more because it's really pretty. And it'll go really well with these earthy colors. And then a color that I used to use with, or that I like to use with the peachy coral especially, but also with these earthy colors, is deep sea. And this is essentially a navy blue. Um, so it's going to add some beautiful contrast. And it'll go really well with these colors. It goes very well with that coral color. And that should be plenty. And I'm using a Remington hair dryer. And I'm going to use this on cold and on high. You can absolutely do it on low if you'd like. I just am a speedy Gonzalez. I like it to go fast. But I do recommend you practicing a little bit because even on high, sometimes you can splatter it if you don't control it correctly. And then you might be sad. Um, <laughs> You might be sad. You're going to be very sad. <laughs> well, it just depends on what's around you, you know. Sagina's 290 miles from Mission. Well, there you go. I'll see you at the class. <laughs> okay. So, and then I use it on cold air. That's one thing I really like about this specific uh, hair dryer is it has a completely cold setting. You don't need to do, like, the cold burst or whatever. It's just cold. You can use uh, hair dryers with heat, but it will slowly start to dry the paint as you go. And so then if you need to work it a little more, you can run into some issues. Here we go.
didn't quite get this corner, but that's okay. You can always add a little more paint if you'd like. I'm gonna just touch up some spots and then I may hit that spot one more time, but it'll look awesome either way. See the canary yellow. Oh, like, right? Look at those cells there. coming up. <laughs> and isn't this a gorgeous color combo? Yeah, it's and you I can really, even get really some like this blue. earthy green mm -hmm. in there with the blue and the yeah, yellow. See yeah, that? Yeah. yeah, super pretty. So let's see if I want to add a little more in that area. I'm going to do just a tiny, tiny bit. Go in with a smidge of white. Of Paws Earth Shimmer. Thank you, Brandy. Uh, no habla español, por favor, translation in English. Or if anyone here speaks Spanish and can translate for me, that'd be fantastic. And I want to do a smidge of the yellow here. And a smidge of the blue right here. I think we'll be good. All right. And then I'm just going to go one spot over that area. Twice. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't lose me all the cells in that area. I may end up regretting that. We'll see. <laughs> but I love it. Uh, I'll bring you guys in for a close-up in a second. I'm also going to just for fun these torches. I usually never torch. But since, Why? Why since G is here. Uh, because the air bubbles will just pop themselves. What? <laughs> yeah. No, they won't. Yes, they will. They, they will pop themselves with the creator. At the end. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I literally have I haven't used the torch in years. Oh, Portuguese? Well, close to Spanish. Uh no habla Portuguese either. Um, cool. Yeah, so um I do typically seal my pieces once they're dry. Um, but you don't have to, but I recommend it. It'll just make it a little bit more durable. Okay. I'm going to bring you guys in for a close-up. Did I get, no, I didn't even get that spot. <laughs> no, that's okay. I think that, that, that paint's going to keep their thing anyway. Yeah, yeah, it'll probably get itself, but just in case. This way, at least, it'll help because wet on wet, you know. All right. What color you used? Like, as in what kind of paint, or as in specifically the names of the colors? I'm gonna zoom out a little bit again. Close your eyes. Um. So this is mixed media girl pouring paint. Lori, Lori, I'm sending you a package really soon. By the way, of paint skins. Sorry, I haven't had a chance to do that until just now. Uh. So this is mixed media girl pouring paints. And I used white, canary yellow, cause earth shimmer, peachy coral, and deep sea blue. I think that's, I got all of them. And this is really pretty. Look at all these cells coming up. And that's just because of that yellow, for whatever reason. I don't know what is in there, but I'm going to find out. And then I'm going to bottle it up. Yeah. And sell it to you guys. No problem, Lori. And for anyone who missed it, we made this earlier in the video. You can watch it on replay. And for one last time, um, I'm here with G Pores. Hello again. And <laughs> um, thanks, Lori. We just released a kit literally right before this live video. Yep. It's a kit and class. So here's the link to that. It includes um, five different colors of paint, white, 
plus white, which white isn't technically a color, but whatever. Um, so six colors for so those who want to call it a color. <laughs> yeah. And then um, sizes, but yeah. a 10 by 10 yeah. inch canvas, a six by six inch canvas, two four by four um, wooden coasters, <laughs> um, plus some silicone oil, then cups, gloves, yeah. stir sticks, straws, skewers, all that kind of good stuff. And Jill says you're looking pretty American there. <laughs> I the know, hat. I know, no, you I know. Like I decided, no. <laughs> I decided I would rather look like a trucker than have my hair, and my face on the highways. <laughs> yeah. Or in the painting. <laughs> yes, thank you, Kim. <laughs> Please push that thumbs up. Okay, and you want to add before we end off? Um, buy the kit. It's going to be fun for you. <laughs> yeah. It's it, like if you not done any pouring before looking to start or if you happen to want to buy some colors from marcy um my course on top is not really adding much cost so you might as well if you're buying colors check this one out get the course uh you're gonna love working with these they're super bright they um, as I was saying in the course, there's options, you can go warm, you can go cool, there's lots of contrasting options, so these, <laughs> these, yeah. uh, and these two, um, and yeah, have some fun with the kit and show us what you make, because that will be like the most fun for us to see what people do with them, uh, and yeah. Yes. Yeah. please tag us. Me. Um, and we will see you all next time, and I'll post the link in the, um, description of this video right after we're done. So thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you later. Oh, cool.